What's going on guys? So I've been playing on my new V3s for a while and some of you have wanted me to do a comparison between the V3s and the CSL Elites with the load cell. Now those are the T3PA Pros back there. If you want me to compare those later in another video, just let me know. But for today, we're gonna to be talking about the CSL Elites with the load cell and the V3 pedal. So now I've had these for a couple of weeks and I've been using them a lot on a set of Corsa Competizione and I did try them on Gran Turismo Sports. So I'm gonna give you the best, um, the best opinion I possibly can on if you're in a market to buy one of these sets why you should, why you shouldn't, and what you need to look for. Okay, so let's say that you wanna get the V3s. What is the advantage of the V3s? So I'm gonna make this quick. I don't wanna make this video long because everyone will get you know bored talking about all this technical stuff, but we're gonna get straight to the point. If you are a person who plays racing games that likes using a clutch, if you are into a clutch, if you like driving road cars, you need to get the V3s. Honestly, you could just turn the video off right now, just buy the V3s. And the reason why is because you can feel the engage point with this clutch. You see this? You see how that's snapping back right there? I can actually feel an engage point when I'm pushing the clutch. You do not get that on the CSL Elites or even like, you know, the T3PA Pros, you know, stuff like this. This thing is just like this. but. You have no engage point. So here's the load cell, and this would be your clutch. This is just ranged. So it's just stiff. Yeah, it gets a little bit more firm, but you don't have that realistic engage point that would make it feel more real life. So if you like road cars, definitely go with the V3s. Number two, I have to show you this. Hold on. So let's click X on this. I'm going to get into the game. Now take a look at this. Watch, you see those spinning? Now, that's pretty cool, right? Now watch this, move this down. So those will spin faster. Those are little motors on the V3s. Now, if you play a game where this is compatible, so a set of course of Competizione does this, I'm pretty sure F1 2020 will probably do this. These motors vibrate and you can feel the car as you're driving. So it kind of feels like you can, you know, maybe feel some shaking or the undercarriage or whatever. And the V3s, whenever, especially whenever you brake hard, you can kind of get more immersion and feel what the car is doing a little bit. And I love that. And if you want to, in the tuning settings or the tuning menu on your wheel, so if you click your, you know, your tuning menu in here, you can find the SHO setting. I'm pretty sure it's SHO. And you can adjust how strong you want that to be. So I find that to be really, really cool and a nice little feature. I know these cost a little bit more, but just between the clutch and the fact that these have that rumble feature, I, I love that, just those two things. So let's say that you don't care about the clutch and let's say you could care less about the vibration. Is it still worth it? Well, here we go. Now, if you look at this, this gas, the throttle here, right? This is no different than these. They're about exactly the same. So if we're just talking about the gas pedal, they're the same. However, you do have the option with these to put in a black spring or a damper kit. So the black spring is actually included in the box. I didn't add it because I like a light brake, but if you like something a little bit more firm, you can change this spring to a black one, make that a little bit more firm. A lot of people add a damper kit and you could get a little bit more of a, of a firm feel if that's what you're into. So I think that's a little bit better than these because these are just kind of basic and range and you're kind of stuck with what you could what with what you get however i'm sure there's people that mod these or do something but i think it's a little bit easier to get a firm break or a firm throttle on the v3s versus csl elites so now we're going to talk about this break okay now this is going to be the biggest thing that people or sim racers are probably going to want to pay attention to so in my honest opinion this load cell if you purchase a load cell with the csl elites it is actually heavier than the stock brake on the V3s. So if you like a really, really firm brake just out of the box without the performance kit, okay? So if you do not purchase the performance kit for this, this load cell is gonna be a little bit firmer. It's very, it's hard. And you can see the way it moves. You see like, look, this is, that is a lot of pressure. Now you can adjust this, you can, but you can kind of see what I don't really like about it though 
it's a little bit loose here, and then all of a sudden it's like really hard. You know, it's like a little loose and then difficult. And I've never really liked that, and I've never really found an adjustment on the CSL Elites that felt natural to me. Um, it just, something doesn't feel right, but I don't like really stiff brakes because I'm, I'm used to range, you know, like range pedals like this. So this always felt like a little bit unnatural, like too firm. But like I said, if you like a firm brake, you're probably gonna love this. So just keep that in mind. Now these, you can adjust, you can adjust the brake right here, the stiffness with this right here. Now, if you want it to be really, really heavy, you're gonna have to get the brake performance kit to make this a little bit more stiff. But where this is at for me, if you push this a little bit, see it gets, I like that little bit of right here, that play, because I could still push it and it just keeps getting more firm as I press and I love that. The way, the way it starts, the way it feels and how it just gets a little bit more firm, the harder you press, it just feels much more natural. So for me, the V3 brake is a lot better. If you like a little bit of range on your brake, I think that the V3 pedals are the way to go. If you want something really stiff, like out of the box, I think the CSL leads are the way to go. So we've talked about the brake. We've talked about the clutch difference if you add this. Oh, and if you're wondering, by the way, the reason why this brake, I have the load cell so far over here, the, the, uh, the left side, is because initially I had this on the play seat and you can see this bar in the middle. So since this bar was here, I just figured that putting this brake to the far left side just kind of made it a little bit easier for me to drive. That's why it's all the way over there. But anyway, if you did buy the load cell, this would end up being your clutch. And I just don't really like that idea. I just, like I said, this to me, is pretty firm and honestly what's kind of crazy is that the stock csl elite brake this brake right here is much more firm than even a t3pa pro you see that this is way more firm and this is just this is a non-load cell just normal brake that is more firm than the pro version on the thrustmaster so if you don't care about a load cell honestly you could just get the normal csl elites without a load cell and this thing is pretty firm i mean i'm not gonna lie to you it really it really is. I mean, it kind of impressed me how firm it is um, just for a generic brake. All right, so now we need to talk a little bit about aesthetics. I do feel that that matters, and no one really talks about that at all. But when you have a rig, right? I mean, you could see that my theme here clearly, just with Z28 Gaming in general, it's all black and red. You see, like, that's why I got this. It's got the red here that has black and red, and I got the GT Omega on the side that's black and red, and it all just kind of matches, right? I just, I like that look. So to me, you know, my personal opinion on the CSL Elites, I don't think that they look that good, you know, in comparison to the V3s. I think that they look kind of boring. Um, that's just that's just my opinion. If, if you don't care about that, it doesn't matter. But I feel like when you're purchasing something, little things matter. Like, you know, you got the, the V3 vibration function that I think is really cool. I like that you can simply adjust the brake pressure just in the back, like really, really quick. Uh, you have the optional performance kit that you buy if you want a heavier brake. And also the way they look, it matters. It almost like makes you feel like you have something really, really nice. And honestly, the difference in price isn't that much. I believe these are like 230 bucks with the load cell. And these are like 359 or somewhere around there. That's not that big of a difference for what you get. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering if it's worth the extra, you know, 120, 130 bucks for the V3s over the CSL Elites. In my opinion, guys, it's a no brainer. I would definitely go with the V3s. I'm really, really happy with my purchase. I am not biased by any means. I bought these pedals. This is just my opinion. I do like the T3PA Pros as well. Maybe more so for a game like Gran Turismo Sport. But when you're starting to get into other games, like a set of course of Competizione, or you want to start getting more into that, that sim racing world, maybe you want to move to iRacing, which I will be doing that. Um, soon, I do think going with a load cell and maybe starting off with the V3s is a really, really good route. All right, guys. Well, I don't want to take any more of your time. I really hope that this helps somebody out there. I try to not be biased by any means. Like I said, I did purchase these. This is my opinion. You could take it with a grain of salt, but I didn't really find too many videos of people that have used both of these pedals and just gave some feedback on, on what they liked about it. And, and honestly, like I said, this is just my opinion. I hope it helps you out, and I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy, guys.